Hello friends. In this video, I am going to explain how to convert a comma separated string into a page list. For example, I have a string a comma b comma c comma d. I want to convert this string into a page list. The page list contains four values a index 1, a index 2, b index 3, c etc. How do we do this uh, in Pega PRPC? So I have a one OOTP function px page list from string csv. So I have a one OOTP function px page list from string csv which is a OOTP function by using this we will implement this functionality. So for this I am going to create a one test activity uh, let me create one simple test activity so I want to select a class name work test click on create and open either you can use a property set or call function call function you can use this one or property set property set so from the properties expression builder i want to call a function so what is the function px convert page list okay so px page list from string csv this is the function this is the ootb function px page list from string csv what are the input parameters string csv which is a comma separated what is the page list input what is the page list because after converting your uh, input string that string is converted into a page list right we need to provide that page list property and the property name and page class so normally whenever you created one page list property the properties is asking which class which class that means the page list contains the collection of pages each and every page is belonging to a particular class so the fourth property is representing to that now what i am doing is so my function px page list from string csv using this expression builder my input string is for example ap comma wb comma ts comma tn etc this is my input string next one is what is the next one input page list so what is my page list uh, for example temp dot states temp dot states states is one of the page list property so check states okay let me check whether the states property because i have already created a one states property under the test data model a property i have created already one states property okay this is a page list property now after converting that input string 
into this page list so what is the class of what is the class of this page list state now this is a temp dot states next one py text py text and the next one this is the class name and this is the property name you will understand this uh, just wait you will understand what is this py text property the page list contains the pages page contains the properties and values right uh, this value this value is saved into this property this value is saved into a, this property etc okay now click on submit and param dot response now you are converting this input string into a page list what is the page list states click on save you will get an error because property at the rate of base class dot states is undefined basically you created a states property but uh, if you did not define this temp in the pages and classes obviously will get an error now what i am doing is temp what is the class name this states property is present in states property is present in which class test class okay now okay work a test class now click on save now pega can understand okay this states property is present in the test class that's why temp dot states that's why temp dot states now click on action run run success verify in the clipboard now what is the page i have given temp page under the standard thread this is the temp page work test and temp dot states is the page list property page list contains a collection of pages which is in the sequential order which is nothing but a numerical index states 1 states 2 states 3 states 4 what is the class name you have given each and every page of a page list belongs to this class that's why i have given and when you click on first page which property is holding that state value this py text you did not create this py text how it is applicable here so the py text property is belonging to the base class this py text property is belonging to at the rate of base class but what is the page you have given what is the test data test app date state test app date data state that's why obviously this class is inheriting from the at the rate of base class at the rate of base class and the py text property is already present in the at the rate of base class that's why i am able to use that property in this class because of the inheritance otherwise if you want you can create a one more property under the data state and you can use that let me do that also go to the app okay now here i want to create one property For example, state code, click on create and open. Okay, by default text, save. Now go back to my test activity. Now here 
in the temp dot states state code state code because it is also belongings to the same class click on save action run run success open the clipboard temp states is the page list property states because i did not remove that page list property because next time it is getting appended okay see this one state code see this one state code the page is already exists that's why next time when it is converting right temp dot states is getting appended to the the first four values okay now actions run click on trace click on run try again property set step status is good param dot response is empty param dot response is empty because i captured that param dot response at the same time at the same time i want to use the another format call function call function i did not put it as any return value now again save i am using the call function but this time temp1 this time i want to give it as a temp1 pages and classes temp1 click on save action run now go to the clipboard now where is my temp1 this one states state code so like this uh, you can use this ovotb function to convert a comma separated string into a page list the function name is px page list from string csv thank you